Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Connoisseur's Conversation. Today, we're going to get into a fragrance by the name of Isola Blue. This is a fragrance that should not be of any surprise to any of you that it has become a part of my collection. I'm a Roger Dove fan, I'm sure as many of you are. Today, I've taken a hesitant look at Isola Blue because I thought it may not be something that I wanted in my collection or needed because of what the actual arbitrage of... <laughs> the, actual, the actual arbitrage of people that came into saying what it smelled like. So I even didn't even give it a chance. But when I started to sample this particular scent over the winter time, I knew that by springtime I better have a particular bottle in my collection of this. This is the fragrance of Isola Blue. And if you're interested in this type of content, say, pull up a seat, pour a glass, and of course, let's enhance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Dry Down, the lifestyle channel where we as enthusiasts aspire to enhance and elevate our olfactory sensory experiences through the understanding of the different aromas, faucets, and nuance of scents, cigars, and wines. I'm your host, Chris. Welcome to today's experience. We're going to dive right into a fragrance that is, like I said, it should not be of any surprise to you what I'm about to talk to you about here because you all knew this would come into my collection by the time spring rolled around, and I must say, this is one of the better takes on this scent profile to date. Man, this shit smells so good. If you're a masculine man, this is kind of unisex, but masculine men, if you've been looking for a fresh scent, they're very, very much so as encompassing of fun loving, fun having, and travel. Just a to this feeling of while being austere and proud it's also one that brings about a, a sense of jovialness and happiness when you wear this particular scent just a beautiful beautiful scent i can't believe how long i wait to get those but sampling you gotta do samples sometimes so you you get fragrances in your collection that really need that sample process and this is one for me and once i bit the apple and got this particular scent in my collection a few weeks back i've been bit <laughs> just biting at the a bit trying to get this one out to you guys so for me i'll give you what i get what I don't get, as many people have stated that they do, and what I think this fragrance is ready for wearing. What I get from this particular scent is a citrus heavy, aromatic, fresh, spicy fragrance that has lots of green, fruity accords while being slightly soft, leathery, suede with white florals. It's a very, very nuanced fragrance that comes off. Nothing is, as Roger Dove always does, man, he puts together some of the best profiles in the business. And this one here, while I have come to love this particular profile even before getting this particular scent in my collection i have elevated this particular scent profile meaning the citrus heavy aromatic with fresh spices to another level he has many in his collection that take this by storm he has scandal he has reckless he has elysium all these are great fresh just warm fresh aquatics and almost eliminating any darkness around you when you wear these particular scents but this one here man it takes the cake what you get in the opening, what I get in the opening in particular, is that just a cave of bergamot, lime, and lemon with a sweet black currant and a sweet green apple. Nothing sour about the green apple. It's like the sweet but tangy green apple in the opening. Then it comes into that mid heart, which is filled with this beautiful jasmine, um, coconut and lily of the valley which you guys know how much i love lily of the valley that soft clean ethereal feel of lily of the valley which is just just encompassing of the mid of this particular scent man it's so you just want to inhale this particular scent when you smell it it, it then goes and transitions to the basic chords the basic chords really do meet the mid of this particular fragrance head on they come up with a nice woody tone and some juniper so there's always that accord in the middle which is just this clean white floral mix with this base of woody and ambery sweetness in the base of it but the umbrella that stays around this is always those bright uplifting citrus accords and they stay the entire fragrance and that's very hard for citrus accords because they're so volatile but this one here captures each one of those fragrance accords brings it into this beautiful amalgamation just, just depth of this particular scent is overwhelming the the beauty of this is outstanding and it's one fragrance i think everybody should get their nose on man and woman isola blue has quickly 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 come climbed into an aspect to where i know this will be a top 10 scent for me going forward just off this scent profile alone capturing me how it has and what it does for me as far as a compliment garner 
as far as the sexual allure, as far as attraction, as far as everything that goes with this particular scent. Everyone I've worn this sitting around loves it. You get nothing but nonstop compliments from this particular profile, especially if you wear it properly. And when I say wear it properly, I mean don't overdo the sprays because you can very much so think that this is a fleeting scent. But once you do four sprays, maybe five tops around the neck and shoulder and arms to keep about a three to four foot radius around you, this scent is a calling card for sexuality and lower lust. Very, very becoming scent. Very, very becoming. It's one that's so filled with brightness, man. The lavender and the thyme in it, you can also smell as well. The all... The natural smell of grass or lemongrass, which it may be, comes across in this particular scent with the base of that beautiful, beautiful orris, tonka bean, and patchouli as well. All those are the rootiness, the earthiness, the leather appeal of this particular scent, which gives it this heft, and it just pushes for hours and hours on your skin. Very, very becoming, very beguiling, very beautiful. A scent that very much so pronounces your... Um, your arrival in a place as well because of how beautiful it is and how it comes across as the luxurious smelling citrus fragrance. You won't mistake it for anything on any designer counter. And that's where I get into the juxtaposition of presenting to you what I, what people say they smell and what I'm trying to understand, but I don't. There's a scent on the market that goes by the name of Terre d'Air Hermes. Now for me, Terre d'Air Hermes is a dirty orange, flinty smelling orange citrus fragrance. I don't pick that up in Isola Blue. I just don't. I don't know. I, I get it. I get where people can come from for certain scents to have a profile and then bandwagon it. And I'm going to say that because I'm just trying to figure out what person, and maybe my bottle's old, maybe the actual formula has changed. But for me, this particular scent does not resemble the other. There is nothing about Isola Blue. That even gives me a reminiscent feeling to the dirty, flinty smell of the fragrance Terre d'Hermes. I'm trying to pick it up. Now, what I do say, and what I will admit to is this, that it's not a fragrance that's on the market of its own. Because even though Terre d'Hermes has its own scent profile, it does smell and has a company part in my collection that smells of it. And that is a fragrance which is a discontinued fragrance by the house of Oman Jane, which is Zazan. Zazan is just a compliment to... Terre d'Hermes, the same scent profile with the same dirty orange, the same flinty smell made by Giza showing. And I think he went for complimenting what Hermes was doing for the market and tried to give his own take on it, which he did a phenomenal job. They don't smell exactly one to one, but they give enough of a profile to say that smells of this. For me, more often than not, when I've come to my collection to try to feel an understanding of the scent profile and what I get from this particular scent, I will give you one up. What I get from my solar blue is the fragrance blue or oud blue intense by the house of fragrance dubois so oud blue intense has the very similar structure and plays in the same wheelhouse now oud blue intense is not something that's a one-to-one -one, but when it comes to the scent profile the scent profile is very similar in what they do for each other aquatic fresh aromatics fresh spicy the nutmeg of Oud Blue, the fresh chords of Oud Blue, along with the differences in tonality of the fresh spice and earthiness appeal of Isola Blue, very much so running the same wheelhouse. Now this is just one man speaking his truth. I cannot sit here and tell you that you smell something different because this is all subjective, but for me, the scent of Isola Blue and now Oud Blue Intense, as you know, that's one of my favorite fragrances if you watch this channel, are one of the one-two knockout punches for my spring and summer list going forward. I love the way this particular scent profile smells. That's my two and one take on how it smells against Terre d'Air MS. My opinion is that it just doesn't. I don't know how else to put that for people that want to smell that way. And if you follow my nose and my opinion on that, I hope you feel the same way because I just don't get it. If you get it, let me know why and how, what, what particular notes give you the thought process and give you that tangible feeling on it. All in all, I wanted to present to you guys this beautiful scent of Isola Blue. A fabulous, fabulous fragrance that I hope you all get your nose on because it is one that is keen to get many, many compliments from me this summer. And I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this particular fragrance. Love it, man. Love it. Very nice scent. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been my video for you guys today. I hope, as always, you enjoyed my video on Isola Blue. 
this is just my attempt to bring you what it is I understand and see and feel about the scent and the, what, how it develops for me and what it brings to my skin and my chemistry. I hope that you guys took something entertaining or educational about this particular scent and enjoyed this content always. And if you did, all I do is ask that you hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know by the comments below how you feel about the scent and if you think my opinion is off from either smelling tear demands or is spot on. Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, until next video, you guys have a beautiful, blessed day, and I will see you then. Peace.